this is Jennifer Gamble with Next Level Guitar, and we're here today to bring you some blues. So, we've all heard the blues before. We've heard it in rock and roll. We've heard it in all types of music. It's very uh, um, educational to learn the blues because you can play all kinds of music once you learn the basic blues progression. And we're going to show you different modifications off of your straightforward 145 blues progression, okay? So, um, to start with, I just want to say that I came out here today thinking, what guitar am I going to bring down here? And, you know, if I could have gone out to my favorite music store and picked a guitar off the shelf, I, I probably would have grabbed a, a Fender Strat, but I, I decided to bring out my, uh, my Parker, which I got about five years ago, and a good friend of mine bought me this guitar. He was a big fan. Hi, Steve. How are you doing out in Wisconsin? And um, thanks for the guitar. I'm still loving it. So, in, in a... So they want to get you guitar, is that cool? Yeah, they can they get me guitar, guitar any time. Right on. <laughs> and you know what? You can play the blues on acoustic guitars as well. So, you know, acoustic, electric, whatever. Bring it on. So, um, this Parker works just fine for the blues, I think, you know? And for slide, whatever you want to play on it. We're going to do a few blues riffs. We're going to start with a very basic one. We're going to build up on that and then show you some Muddy Waters kind of licks and, and the, the hoochie coochie is what it's called, the hoochie coochie lick, and uh, you, you've heard that one before, I'm sure. So let's get started. Lick I'm going to show you, I showed this to my daughter today, she's 11 years old, and she was playing this, okay? Very simple to do for the very basic beginners, even if you've never picked up a guitar before, you could do this, okay? So you're basically going to be doing, we're going to be doing the 145 blues in the key of A, so we want to put our first finger at the, fir the fifth fret of our low E string. So I'm going to call this the sixth string, okay? So we've got six strings our on our guitar. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the, top, the highest one is the one, the first string. That's the high E. So we're going to place our first finger at the fifth fret, right in the middle, on our A. That's our A note, okay? That's our, our number one note in the scale, our A. And then we're going to place our third finger on the string right next to it, the fifth string, at the seventh fret. And we're only going to play those two notes. That's, that's what we call a power fifth, okay? Two note chord. It's really simple. Okay? So, what I want you to do if you're a complete beginner is just get your fingers in position and make, make sure you got that your pick. My daughter said, how do I hold a pick? You know, just put it, place it down on your first finger and pinch it with your thumb and then rest your palm right there on your strings and plug it down. Try not to hit the other string. Okay, just hit those two low strings and get that down. So you want this kind of rhythm pattern just like Okay, so you're just doing da 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 da. Okay, so it's like one, two, three, four, one. Every time you pick, you're just plucking downward in a downward motion, okay? So every time it's da 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 da, you're going down, 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 down with your pick, okay? And um, then we're just going to take that same finger pattern that we've got right there, the first finger and the third finger, and right now we're on the one of the, of the chord progression, okay? It's called one, four, five, because we're using our first chord, our fourth chord, and our fifth chord, okay? So if we're in the key of A, if we get, think of the scale, it's A, B, C, D is our fourth, and E is our fifth, okay? So we're going to go A, D, E. So we're going to A. We want to move up to our D. So we're going to take that whole thing over two strings. We're going to t want to take this whole thing over a string. So our first finger moves up to the next string over, which is our fifth string. So we've got... And then back again. to our E string. So we're going to take 
we're not moving our fingers. They're in the same pattern, okay? The same kind of formation. And we're going to move over one string and up two frets. And when I say up, that means up higher on the guitar to the higher notes. So towards the bridge, okay? D. Back to A. Okay, that's our first progression. Okay, so I'm going to do what I just showed you, the one, four, five, real slow, and see if you can do it with me. I'll kind of count it for you as we go. And if you can't, you know, if you're a real beginner and you can't do the changes yet, just stay on the first chord, on the A chord, okay? And we'll start with our picking pattern. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Switch. Back to the first. Do it again. To our fourth. Back to the first. And we're going to go up to the fifth. To the fourth. And back to the first. One more time. All right, and I gotta teach you the walk up, the what we call the um, turnaround chord. So I'll do that. Let me teach you the turnaround chord, and then we'll play the whole thing together again. Okay? So when we want to, with the blues, sometimes it just keeps going and keeps going forever. You can keep going forever with the turnaround chord. So what the turnaround chord is, once you get back to that, back to that A at the end, you do a little. Okay, so all you do is start on your fourth, your D note, and you play those two strings, go up one fret, and up one more fret to your fifth. Okay, just do them real slow. And that leads you back to the first. Okay, so let's do it all together again one more time. From the beginning, I'll count one, two, three, four. Fourth, first, stay there. Fourth, stay there.